How are you? Welcome everybody to Wreath Addiction RN. I'm going to get some signs ready. I think we're going to go ahead and make um, the Saint, the um, pet, the patriotic one today. So um, let me get my stapler. Hi Mary, how are you? Uh, before I get started actually I do have some things I wanted to share with everybody. Um, let's see, I got it too as well. So, I don't know if Amanda's going to be on. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I don't know who um, made these for... Amanda had... Um, so, this is from Stephanie. This is Amanda Gudak's friend that made these for me. Or for her. And then she gave them to me. Um, hopefully, she kept some. So, anyway. So, here's some masks. And then I wanted to, so I wanted to give a shout out to them. And then um, I wanted to, uh, I got some more in the mail today. And this is from uh, Buttercup Creations, which is Danita. And um, my very first shipment I got was from Miss Nedra Dennis. And she's from um, Louisville, Kentucky. She sent me three, and um, which I'm so appreciative of everything that I got. Um, so, and I did wash before using, I didn't even see that, but yes, I did wash before using. So those have to go in the washer as well. And then, uh, let's open up, uh, Danita sent me some too, and, uh, I wanted to open these up as well. So, um, uh, I tell you what, they come in handy. They, um, save, I actually double up, but it just helps save because then the outside of the one that I'm using, um, the um, whatever you want to call it, disposable one, doesn't um, get yuck on it. So, so it looks like she, ooh, she made some with straps. I don't have any of those, so that would be nice as well. She sent quite a few. Ooh. And I, she asked me about whether I wanted some with the filter, and I don't have any that do that. So. I did ask her for that. Wow. Look at these. Very nice. So I don't know if this has the... Oh, yeah. So in here, I can put um, a coffee filter or um, I can cut up some um, different kind of filters. Somebody even said something about cutting up um, filters that go into your air conditioning unit or your furnace. Uh, just make, have to make sure that you get stuff that you know isn't harmful if you breathe in. So um, I'm super excited about these as well. So um, what an awesome thing she did. These take time too. I tell you what, I've been watching and everybody's like, oh, it's just so easy, you whip them up. Yeah, not so much. So you have to be talented, I think. So, so she sent me several, looks like here. So I'm pretty excited and I can share these with my coworkers as well. So I'm excited about that. And my daughter-in-law um, also uh, has been looking for some with a strap on them. So I'll be letting her know that I got some so that she can quit looking. So, and then we can said, use them with the, the filter. So um, that'll be awesome. So hi, Lon. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Lucy. So um, thank you so much, Danita. I will have to send you a message thanking you, letting you know I got your things. I love purple. That's my favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. And red. Some blue. So thank you so much, Danita. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's all virtual hugs now, isn't it? Even if we were together. So, um, so, I really, 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 super, super duper appreciate it, Dania. Thank you so much. 
they're going to come in handy like I said my daughter-in-law her ears are getting sore hey Pam so her ears are getting sore so these have the straps on them so thank you Danita for sending these to me and thank you to Amanda's friend Stephanie for making some of these they're I think we're going for a long haul here so um, they're going to come in handy I'm going to try not to use them all save some of them that way if some of them get you know from frequent washing things like that so thank you thank you thank you thank you I think we're going to be doing this for quite some time so I'm not a predictor of people or things but my thought is is that once we peak whenever that may be I know everybody has their predictions but once we peak and we start going down daily you know like significant numbers decreasing daily I think that we'll probably have another month or more after that before it's all over and then I heard on the news today I don't mean to you know burst your bubbles or give you guys but they said that we'll probably the coronavirus will probably be back in the fall so but the one thing they said <laughs> is that if you didn't get it now you'll probably get it then and which is scary because I mean look we're all I mean hopefully they have a vaccine or something by then right so let's pray pray to God that they figure out something because can we can't our econ our economy and, and everything cannot survive on us living you know working from home forever and some of us not working at all so uh, just keep praying for those people who are doing the testing that you know they figure out something but um, they said if you did get it that you probably won't get it so it's like kind of guess like the chicken pox you know like if you get it once you're not going to get it again so um, but that's the first time I heard that I heard that today that's the other bad thing about being home more I try not to watch the news but sometimes it comes on and then of course I catch a glimpse of something and then I'm like oh I want to get the details of that right bad deal bad deal so anyway I know well I haven't been on much Levon um, I'll be very truthful not on very much um, just not in a um, I don't know if you want to call it not so much that I'm not in a good place it's just that I'm stressed worried hey Rach how are you I saw your post I know Rachel's woods always thick, but always paranoids me that that I'm going to uh, pull it through. So uh, or poke it through. Um, you posted your first Facebook thing or YouTube thing. I need to go check it out. So um, I'm pretty sure I'm already on your subscribed to your page, but we'll see. So anyway, so I'm using um, the stapler and um, I'm just making sure that this doesn't like pull out so I decided to double staple because I've had one person with a wooden sign that their staples came out made me very mad so um, so I'm gonna do two and then twist if you have blessed my page I greatly appreciate it um, and I did see that my scheduling of my YouTube video last night went through when it came out. So I was happy that I did that right. Hi, Emma. Sorry, guys. I know that's loud. Yeah, it is. It is very, um, it's very taxing. So when every day's changing, you know, I, th I think I get it all figured out. And then I had another facility call today and said, no, we've changed our mind. Now, mind you, they just, they changed their mind on Monday, I think it was. Monday that they didn't want me at all for 14 days and then today they've decided that um, thank you um, that they don't um, they're not they're just going to do telehealth visits so now I'm got to learn the telehealth visit thing so and you know adjust care plans 
So I have to do care plans for that and, um, um, you know, and then try and figure out, because you got to make sure it's all going to, you know, get filled correctly and all that stuff. So it's a little nerve-wracking, just a tad bit. So anyway, so I got these ready for this sign, um, and this is going to go in here. And I thought I'd show you, I was actually thinking about putting, um, let me cut these. I thought I heard my husband coming down here, but maybe he changed his mind since he heard me on the talking to people. <laughs> I don't normally just talk to myself down here. Hi, Arlington, Texas. Thank you. Um, so you did. It was a bit scary because it was a big, oh, ooh, I, you know, I don't edit that much. Um, I need to just start. I, I did the Femora stuff but I have not edited yet so I've just done the Facebook edit where you cut out the front or you cut out the back or um, I think I've cut out a little bit in the middle once but front and back mostly okay so I am going to put some of the um, brackets on here but my drill is dead so but I'm also going to um, put some pipe cleaners through there so this is a bead bead smith okay and then, um, I bet you are. Did you see, um, all right, so then I'm just gonna place this in here and I'm going to squeeze, and that just pokes a little bitty hole in this, and then I can put a pipe cleaner through it, or I can put, um, hi Tanya, um, or I can put um, the wire through it. So there's, um, what was it I saw today on our channel for news, it said, um, here what's the word I'm thinking of um, like whenever you um, teach somebody you um, when you get help tutor peer tutor I think is what it's called and um, you get like two free hours so if you're having a subject that you don't do well in um, and they're from K through 18. I think it's called peer, um, I can't think of the word again. Peer tutor. Tutoring, I do believe. So Google that. You might, that might help you. Any of you parents out there that are having problems, you know, with, I'm so glad I don't have to worry about that and that my sons get to worry about that because I think that would drive me crazy. Let me find my drink. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to move that, but I wanted to show you this real quick. So I think this is another one I did a video on that I have to download for uh, YouTube as well. I made a bow, this bow here. So I just need to, I have some other rustic stuff. You're welcome. Hi Shaylin, how are you? How are you hanging in there with all of this stuff, Shaylin? Hanging in there? I tell you, you know, and then the poor, you know, our poor, um, you know, we have it bad. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it could be worse, but you know, our law enforcement people are not only dealing with this, but then they're dealing with the normal stuff because you haven't noticed that the gr crime hasn't stopped. Shootings haven't stopped. People doing bad things hasn't stopped. Isn't that awful? <laughs> That sounds like a plan. Yeah, my sister-in-law, I just asked her, um, one of my families uh, was looking for, hi Johnny, was looking for someone to clean their house. So my sister-in-law does that for a living. So I sent her a message and I said, you know, I have a family that's looking for someone to clean house. She goes, no, she says, I'm not doing that right now. She goes, because I have to be my, my children's best friend because they can't be with their friends. So, um... 
So anyway, I felt bad for her because, you know, that is the truth. And that's the way it is with all of you guys, you know. Um, uh, I did find, like, if you have, um, because I'm doing stuff with work and doing the telehealth thing. So um, I have an Android phone for work. And then, um, and I don't want to use my personal phone. Hey, Amanda. Oh, I got I got Um, tell your friend, too. Stephanie, I think was her name. She put a card in there. Did you know that, though? There was a card in there, um, in that stuff. So tell her thank you for the mask. So I, I would open them up again tonight because I got some more in the mail. So I'm really good. I bet it's been crazier than crazy, Shaylin. So, um... Anyway, she's like, um, I had to be their friend. But what I was going to tell you is that, I don't know, you guys probably know this because you're more tech savvy than I and younger. So, but Google Duo, Google Duo, can't say it, crazy. But if you download that, you can download that on a, a Droid or uh, um, Apple device. And you can call each other and, and it'll video each other. So, like, if they're friends have a different d device, you know, like iP iPhones, you can do that with iPhones, but like I know Rachel, I think you don't have an iPhone, so you and I could do that, um, oh, I'm trying to stay safe, thank you, um, so you and I could do that, because I downloaded that now, so, thanks Amanda, so anyway, so just, you know, of course now, you know, it's not like I'm not trying to learn enough just trying to do this business, now I have to refigure out the business that I knew, <laughs> hi Terry, which is nursing, right? So now I'm trying to figure out a whole new nursing way. And I am very apprehensive. I have to tell you that's why it's really been hard for me to come on alive. Um, just because I'm just a nervous Nelly and I, I fret about things. Um, so, I mean, uh, we're doing telehealth visits. And to do those, you have to have someone that's at the facility that is willing to take their device whether they and a lot of the facilities have um have bought devices hi sandy to use so that has helped that they've done that but you know they're busy they're super busy those people can't leave their rooms they're trying to feed people in the rooms they don't have time for me to call them and say okay i need to do my telehealth visit now can you go down to the room and basically, they're doing my job. They're doing the assessment there, in which there's only certain things that I can do through telehealth, even though the person that's doing the visit is a nurse. Um, but still, you know, they're busy. and But they do the vitals and all that good stuff. So it's crazy. How's things going for you, Sandy, at the hospital? I hope you guys are doing well. I think about you guys as well. It's... Um, I'm, per, I'm pretty sure, I know the babies are still being born. Sandy delivered my grandson. Well, help delivered. <laughs> anyway, so, um, and I went to school with Sandy, and she actually babysat for my children. She was my babysitter as well. And then she went on to school and got her nursing. And I did it way after she did. So, but, um, let's just make something patriotic, right? So I thought that this would be, um, I'm going to use this silver. I'm like, I had it for a while. I'm going to use it. If I don't like it, I'm going to just take it off and put it, put it aside. But um, I thought it would go, it's not as dark as the base of this sign. So this sign, again, is from Rachel's Crafty Corner. Um, so the, I'm going with this. So it's not... Eh, yeah, I think it'll be good. And then I'm gonna do the um, do the red and white, red, white, and blue um, basket weave. So I did hang up a Easter wreath on my door. I took the pig planter that I made, and it's sitting on my dining room table. I love that pig planter. I'm actually going to post a couple more pictures of that. I can't believe that that pig planter has not sold. That thing is so freaking cute. If it doesn't sell, I'm just keeping it for myself next year. It is adorable. Absolutely adorable. It looks so cute on my table. I love it. If I do say so myself. <laughs> so, anyway, I know you guys have all got 
crazy things going on. Tell me about your life. I want to hear. Thanks, Rachel. I think it will be too. Hi, Sheena. Hi, Chrissy. Thanks for joining. Hi, Willie. How are you? Yeah, I haven't been, um, I haven't been on a lot. Like I said, just been crazy. But I, my plan is, um, the other thing too, guys, is that I was working, I worked every other weekend. I had the first weekend of March, I was off. The, no. First weekend of March, I worked. Second weekend of March was my anniversary, so I did get on that weekend. The third weekend, I was off. And then the fourth weekend um, was um, um, Adam's deployment. And then, um, then the weekend after that, I was on call again. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. I know it. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but I'll show them to you. But remember I told you I had those two signs and I was going to do like a, kind of like a little comparison thing, how you can have two different signs and make it two different ways and, um, and it looks not the same, you know what I mean? Just like adding a couple of different colors. Um, even though I still use some of the same ribbon, um, I had the two of the, uh, enjoy the ride signs. And uh, so I made those. So Willie, you've got some really cute stuff. That um, that autism wreath that you made, right? You made that today, Willie. Isn't that right? Isn't that who I saw that on? Um, didn't you have like, if I remember right, the ribbon had um, a blue check or stripe border, and then hi Janelle, and then it had um, a heart that had the puzzle pieces in it. If I want to know where you got that from because I love that. That is so cute. You're a correctional nurse. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank God everything's going. I, you know what, my son, um, my son is a correct, correctional officer. He's not working right now. So, you know, that's the one thing. I can't even imagine what you guys are going through. Oh my goodness. That's just like being in a nursing home, right? You know, a little worse though because um, your people can get up and walk around where a lot of those nursing home people are in wheelchairs and a little bit easier to confine. Oh man, that would be awful. Well, I pray for you, good luck, be careful, be safe. Do you need masks because, um, you know, are you wear you have enough personal protection equipment? Oh, and is that the place where you got it, Willie? So, um, Mary, just please protect yourself. I know it's so hard. I mean, I can't even imagine, you know, trying. It's just, it's, people just don't understand. And I don't know, you know. I'm just praying that it, we start on the downhill really soon. I try not to be the naysayer person, you know. But until we see the numbers go down, guys, you know, we're, as long as they keep going up, we haven't peaked all I can say you know so and where are you and where are you um where are you from Mary did I miss that I might have and I'm really sorry if I did where are you from thanks for joining I don't remember your name I appreciate it and if you haven't um signed up for my page please do so uh, by clicking the bell icon that will notify you um whether whenever I go live and um trying to build this group up too as well I do have some signs I need to get milled out. Um, I did find out I ran into my, um, not ran into a group really, but saw my postal lady and I asked her, I said, Are, is our post office open that I can take a box in? Because I'm not home a lot of times whenever she comes. So yes, Rachel used to be a, a police officer as well, Arkansas. On Etsy okay thank you thank you so much Willie I appreciate that because that is adorable 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 ribbon adorable I'll have to look at that so um, it might be that's something I never really thought about that that's <laughs> not to play that movie right Shaylin oh my my goodness that's something yes um, Wow Never even thought about that. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. You're just not good at typing. Oh, me either. Me either. That's why it takes me so long to chart. <laughs> because I have fat fingers. Um, I'm trying to use my keypad more. Oh, we got these um, wireless keypad or like keyboards. I still mess up, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get better now that I'm doing more of this uh, different charting, different kind of charting. So we'll see. It's crazy. Crazy. Hey, Rhea. Thanks for joining. So again, um, I am going to be looking at YouTube tonight to see what's um, going on. I'm going to schedule some more videos to come. Uh, Wednesday night will be the night that I download videos for sure. But there will be other uh, times as well. Yes, we will. You're right. You're right. There is an end. There is an end. This is not doomsday by any means. Absolutely. Absolutely, Shaylin. Um, you know, it's just people need to stay home. They need to... Um, they need to make that shopping list and they need to get everything they can on that day. And the bad thing of it is, is and I feel bad for people because it happens to me as well. Whenever you go shopping and you have your list and then they don't have what you need. So then what do you do, right? Do you go out again another day? Do you just try and do without? You know, what is the answer? I don't know. I guess you just have to rate the importance of what you needed, what you were out of, you know, um, if it's a medication, you know, my husband, uh, when I went to Sam's on Tuesday and I forgot coffee, so he counted out his things and he has enough coffee to last him until next Tuesday or until two weeks. So I'm like, okay, then I'm not going to go and get it. Um, I was in the area today. I thought I would go by and just run into Sam's and get that. There was a line so long, I'm like, forget it. Nope, not doing that. I'm going home, and I'm going to chart this admission that I did so that I'm not working all night. So, hi, Lily. How are you? Thanks for joining. Hi, Angie. Thanks for joining. Absolutely. You're right. Yes, absolutely. Um, I just am praying for the researchers. Pray for those researchers as well as the frontline people, the researchers that they, you know, they are working tirelessly, tirelessly to try and figure out something. You know, I mean, they're not, um, they're not sitting on the sidelines saying, okay, well, when this is over, we'll figure out something. They are trying now. It's, um, there's just, you know, they just have to take, it takes time. It takes time. And some people get mad because they don't know if it'll work or not. Well, honey, you know, you just got to trust them and if it doesn't you know hopefully they're not trying anything that's gonna going to kill you to be honest with you but you know um we're in a whole lot of time to test a lot of things you know so anyway hey carrie happy belated birthday so my granddaughter's birthday is next week carrie I'm going to have a 16-year-old grandchild. Oh. And I feel so bad because her birthday and she can't even celebrate her sweet 16. Doggone it. But hopefully we'll have a big old party for her whenever, whenever this is over. I'm like, doesn't even matter if she can get her driver's license or not. She can't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, goodness. Poor thing. Poor thing. I really have no idea what to even get her. Hey, Angie. How are you? Long time no see. Are you surviving? Corona? I have five patients to see tomorrow, so that should give me a full day tomorrow. So, then I need to figure out orders, how to do orders for telehealth visits, so I can do those next week. 
I did play on that Google Duo and I did figure out how to create a group so that like, um, cause like my social worker and um, the spiritual care, you know, they haven't got to see their patients either. So we'll be able to do like a group video and we'll all be able to see her or him or her or them. So that'll be kind of neat. So hopefully it'll help. That's all I got to say. I just hope it'll help. So, so I'm making 10 inch poofs. We're going to make this sign. Here's our sign. I need to get that. Amanda, are you still on? Are you feeling any better? Amanda was not feeling good. It's not a good time to get sick, you know, with anything, whether, you know, it's not like dire, but yet you don't know because she's in a lot of pain, but you want to stay out of the doctor's offices and the, as my one friend calls them, doc in a box. <laughs> so you want to stay away from those places, you know, it's crazy. What are you doing, Thor? Hi, Connie from Kentucky. Thanks for joining. Maybe if I do this, I won't eat so much. I've been snacking like crazy. It's been bad. I need to get back down here and do work every night. Then I won't eat. And I've been drinking a lot of soda lately. Has anybody else had the soda, lots of soda? I haven't been drinking my water. I was drinking water or tea, so then I wasn't drink, you know, having all that sodium. And now that's not the case. Anybody make anything pretty today? Anybody try anything new? You would please bless my page I greatly appreciate it trying to grow my page to 5,000 I have a ways to go I'm at 3100 so need to you have a mask good Willie that's good you would have thought you know I wish I'd have been I wish I'd have been thinking better Hi Bev, thanks for joining. Hi Renee, thanks for joining. Thanks, thanks Chrissy. The new thing, edit videos in YouTube, yeah. I need to, yeah. Um, I've got several videos that I need to like download yet onto a YouTube. There was something else I was gonna do. I don't remember what it was with YouTube. I just need to, like I said, I put on there that I was downloading once a week. I think I'm actually going to change that maybe to downloading twice a week. But I did figure out, be so proud of me, I did figure out how to do my, oh, my brother's calling me. Oh, darn it. This is going to have to wait. Um, how to do um, my... Uh, Canva. I changed my my paint my top part on Canva. Thank you. I wonder if my hopefully nothing's wrong. He doesn't call me very often. I may I may have to get off, guys, just because that brother doesn't call me very often. That's my older brother. He may just be calling to make sure I'm okay. Sometimes he does that, but not very often. Normally he's he's the one that informs us about the other older brother. So hey Lisa. Hi Jessica, how's it going? That baby's adorable. Crazy, crazy. Yes. 
Oh, on a Zoom. Good. I was getting a little worried there, Chrissy. All right. Good deal. Yeah, we're um, we're doing all of our church services on a Facebook Live. So if you guys don't have a church and you want it, you know, if your church isn't doing anything, it's Net Community Church. It's awesome. Love to have you. Oh, he left me a voicemail. Hmm. Tell you what, I've been doing. Um, oh, he's got his days and nights. Oh, they always do. I don't think there's been a baby around that doesn't have their days and nights mixed up, especially a newborn. Too, Connie. And every day I think, oh, the, tomorrow's going to be better. So today, whenever I stopped at Dollar General real quick to get, um, um, to see if they had Lysol because their truck came in and they didn't. So I was in and out, but I did pick up, oh my gosh, I did pick up a Butterfinger for me and my husband. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jessica. So, but anyway, it'll be all right. It'll all get back to normal. I am looking to get my, um, I have a pool. I have an Intex pool, and it's seen its better days. So, I think we're going to be ordering a new pool. So, towards the end of last summer, I was doing exercises in the pool. So, I like that. <laughs> I hear that. Oh, well, that's good. Two nights in a row. Yeah, it's hard. You know, you can't see your family. and It's crazy. All right. So, let's see. So I cut these at 22. I don't remember how many I cut though. Anyway, I'm gonna try, Amanda reminded me of this technique the other day when she was doing hers and I thought, oh man, I forgot all about this technique. So you just take it, fold it, and then ruffle it. So, With the folded side on the inside. I don't know what I was thinking. I need to figure out what colors I'm going to use for a ribbon.
Can you guys see it okay? I know, I love it too. I have so much of this in so many different colors. They're good. Thank you for asking. Eh, come on. I'm trying to get it to where it's evenly on each side and it's not wanting to cooperate with me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. do this with um, regular mesh as well it doesn't have to be window pane I've done this I've done this method a lot of times whenever I am making my witch hats and I'm using that six inch mesh makes it thicker um, fuller and uh, not as transparent so I usually cut those like at 30 uh, these are cut at 22. So, um, hi Joy. So I know that Trish did um, like 12 hours of lives. So did she, did she end your lives and then start them over again? Is that what she did? Because I'm thinking, man, she probably needs a break, doesn't she?
I would have to go to the bathroom. Did she do like one project and then end it and then come back on? Does anybody know? That sounds like something fun. I'm not sure what you see, Joy. You said a purple something. I don't know. Two projects and took a break. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that whenever I start getting things back in order. Do like a marathon myself. To have all my stuff ready to go, you know. But you got to have your ribbons and everything ready for the most part. Your signs ready. You just have to just create. Right? Why? Um, just gives it a different look and consistency. Just another another way to do it. Gives it a little bit more thickness. Rachel made the sign. This is from Rachel's Crafty Corner. The sign's from Rachel's. Yep. Um, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue window, the window pane mesh is red, white, and blue. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna. That's what it's gonna be. Hey Trish, thanks for joining. Tisha, thanks for joining. So this is cut at 22 inches. It's window pane mesh. It is red, white, and blue. I don't know if the coloring just doesn't show very well. Um, I may have to cut another one. Doesn't look like I cut all of them. I must have got pulled away for something and then forgot what I was doing. Oh, really? Sorry. Nope, it's red, white, and blue. Maybe I need to get more lighting, huh? See if maybe if I hold it up, if that looks better. Thanks, Patricia. Does that help a little bit to see the colors?
I would be awful if you thought I was putting purple with a red, white, and blue sign, huh? <laughs> Boy, I've lost it for sure. Okay, so I do need to cut one more. I don't know where to put anything, you know? It's never enough room. Okay. So I'm a bowl person. So since I figured out how to make them, do I have embellish? I haven't even thought about embellishments yet. I have plenty of embellishments, but I don't know if I'll be putting them all in there or not. I don't put a lot of different stuff in mine. This, I don't know. Um, it is um, it's a 14 inch frame from Dollar Tree. I just don't put a lot of different embellishments in mine. I'm just, I don't know. I have a lot of embellishments, but I don't use a lot. So, do I want to do this? Or... Yes, it is every other one. Yep. So, uh, my wreath frames I make myself. And, um, so there's... 12 ties on the bottom and 6 ties on the top. And like this one here doesn't get, um, thank you. Um, this one here doesn't get, I'll probably put, I like, I love tubing, so I'll probably put some tubing in there. Um, that's kind of what I do. Or then that's, once I get everything put in there, if it looks bare, then I may add some embellishments at that point. But, um, I think I'm going to go with six, six inch loop. I want a blue on the bottom and the blue that I have in the solid doesn't really match what I want. So I'm going to do this one. It's more of a navy. Yeah, I have I uh, have another whole ribbon rack over there, and then I have another shelf over here that's full. I have lots of ribbon. 
but at least I have it all spread out now so I can see it because I was really getting aggravated that I couldn't see my ribbon. So these are six inch loops and I normally do um, I have been doing, not always, but I have been doing um, three loops on the bottom, on three loops on each side. I've been using the other board. I don't know why this wasn't sticking very good. Then I just see, measure it down to the bottom. Sometimes I make it about even just because then that way it gives me a little bit of playroom. I usually go a little bit over the five because I did six. I just kind of move my loops out of the way so I can see. Oh, well, thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. Anybody make some really good bows because I still struggle with bows. I'm better at it than I was a year ago, but I still struggle with bows. Choo -choo. always end up getting ribbon that I have to worry about the lettering. I'm drawn to it like crazy. Drawn to it, drawn to it. And then I have to try and figure out how it works. <laughs> Thanks. working on the hand bow believe me that is something that 
I'm still trying to figure out. But I definitely don't want my words upside down on the tails. So, so I just cut mine like so. Did everybody see how I did that? Well, thank you, Sheena. You're sweet. All right, so let's see here. The last three or four wreaths I have made, I have had ribbon that I've had to do a bow like this. So I should be getting better, but I still can't do tails um, with it. So I don't know. It'll be all right. Lori can always make a tail, and I can't do that. So. Why is this one wrong? I guess they're not. They both went the same way. All right, so that's going to be good enough for me, I think. Let's look at it and see. I used to have to do that, too, and sometimes I still do, um, especially, like, if I pull this out and I find out that this isn't all, like, even, and cause I don't like all this wonky stuff in here, you know? I'm just, like, this one's way bigger, so that's not good. So, we're going to have to fix this. you watch Lori whip up a bow in no time and it looks absolutely gorgeous and even and perfect. Don't you think it always does? I do. time. One more time. Let's see if I can just make this loop just a little bit smaller yet. And I'm doing way more laundry because I don't let my uniform sit together. Outside, but I think that's just the wind.
<laughs> uh, you love making those. I want. I mean, I don't want any of my wreaths. Pretty much, I'll, they always have to have a bow on them. Do I love making bows? Nah, not one of my. I like making them when I don't have to worry about the wording. <laughs> but when I have to worry about this wording, and then I have to worry about all that, so I think that's going to be good. I think that's about it. Like this one's so much smaller, it feels like. All right, I think we're gonna go with it, guys. All right, and then, so then, this piece here has to get cut. Be very careful that you don't cut the rest of your ribbon when you cut this one. Now, let's see. <laughs> this ribbon came in my deco box. Let's do this one. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Damon. up our USA but yet we're going to cover up our tie Oops, let's give another a little bit more color tie in the blue and the red and the white okay hey Sharon how are you okay working from home going I bet not too bad huh who would have ever thought this would happen right To pull your zip tie real tight you want to make sure that your ribbon is facing the way you want it mostly in the place that you want it Needs to be on my list as well. 
Oh no, well, Amina. <laughs> well, good luck to you. You do. So you're not social distancing away from the grandbaby? <laughs> Yeah, I do every single time. I feel like I do every single time. That's why I got this little nifty difty thing here. It works. Put your pipe cleaner in there, thread it right through. Ta da! for um yes handy nandy too to the rescue absolutely i am thinking about what i want to do for my ribbon tails come on this is very stiff ribbon so it doesn't even want to take it from my thing in okay i'm going to move this for now i need to get some more pins out and let's see. Isn't that going to be cute? I'm only going to probably do ribbons around the edges. I'm just debating on um, what to do. Do we want to just do these stars and for USA? I like this, but I think that that's just too much on top of that. I think I want something solid on top of that. So, either the stars or the red. So, we could do the stars and the USA. The star and the USA. Or we could do the solid red and the USA. What do you guys think? Anybody? Anybody care? I'll give you a couple minutes. Anybody care? Poop. I know I drop one. Now I'm going to have to hunt because I probably ain't going my foot. Stars in USA. Either way will look good. I agree with that. agree with that. Stars. Solid red and navy stars. Well, I want kind of want the USA in there. I like it. I like glitter. So
Well, guys, I think I'm going to get off here because I want to check and see what my brother needed, make sure nothing's serious going on with my brothers. I have five brothers, and I'm the only girl. So I just want to make sure that everything is good. My oldest brother is like 68. Maybe, maybe he just turned 69. I think maybe he just turned 69, actually. So, but... Other than that, is all I'm going to do now is just put the ribbon on and attach the bow. So I thank everybody for hopping on and spending the evening with me. I greatly appreciate all your support as well. You guys are awesome. Very much so. Um, love everybody's concern and prayers and blessings. I appreciate it. So be watching for me on Facebook and on YouTube. Read the Diction RN. Thanks, everybody. You guys have a great night. I'll see you this weekend. All right. Bye, everybody.